All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can become a multi-millionaire by making your kids work in the fields until they die in your school. It's rule, your school. So we found a way to make infinite money by turning all the students into slave labor. I haven't actually made the worst school possible yet. I got really close to having the government come and shut the last school down, and then we actually crashed the game because we made too much money. I have plans though to make this school the worst school yet and hopefully i'd like to see the kids like rebel against the teachers or something play game damn it it's always fun to see what i named my schools i don't know why but apparently your future will suck twice as much as normal and then the last one sweatshop high llc the pinnacle of human suffer damn it it's just human suffering. God. Just human suffering. This is what happens when the government cuts back on education. We can't even afford a full friggin' school name. As usual, we need an appropriate headmistress to spend all of the kids' money on their drug addiction. We've had this one. We've had this one. Now it's time for this one. Why does everyone look like they have nose plugs? It could just be the cocaine lines, I guess. Who are you? Someone filled with regret and drugs. I like how it's like, choose who you would like to be. I don't really like to be this. I'm just this because the other alternatives are worse. Now, unfortunately, children, a few of you are going to have to work in the mines because we need to generate money somehow and doing it the legitimate way is a pain in the ass. I'm kind of curious. I've never really messed with this. Can you make horrifying Oh my god, I think you can. I think you can make the children just walk around a giant maze and never get to their classes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, now I'm kind of curious. I'm only going to feed the children ice cream and like fat hamburgers and stuff like that, so I guess all this cardio is going to be pretty useful for them. I think I'm starting to realize just how excessive this probably is. Realistically though, walls are dirt cheap. So technically, this is the game's fault for allowing me to do this. I wonder if the kids never get to sc What the hell just happened there? How come part of the wall just disappeared? Whatever. Uh, not sure if a child could end up just stuck out in the nether realm, but you know what? Whatever. Honestly, I'm spending more in jail doors than anything else. All right, this could probably get stupider, but it's probably good enough for right now. The kids can use the vending machine, but if they want to use it, they're going to have to travel all the way back to the beginning of the entire school to get something. All right, everyone who's not out in the gardens killing themselves gets to paint so that we have stuff to sell in our Amazon store. This is the one teacher that's applied for a position. Her name is Tony and she's very creative. She has to be creative because at 53, she's managed to accomplish absolutely nothing in her entire life. When your experience is below the double digits, you're basically a failure, but you're a cheap failure. So you're hired. You honestly can't have this game without some stupid poster. It's like there's a new poster every time. I know the developer's not updating this game, so I don't know where the hell these are coming from. School is your place to shine. So wake up early and arrive on time. No excuses, go to school. I wish there was like a taser or something slowly meandering into the scene here. Oh, here we go. So it's time for the students. Why? Well, sometimes I wonder why it seems that nobody is having fun. Probably because no one ever gets to their class. There is no way in hell this student will get to this class, I don't think. It's already 11 o'clock and he hasn't even gotten down the very first hallway. God, this is the chattiest bastard we've ever had at school. He never shuts up. Cecil, this is not an appropriate name. The new name is STFU. Is it even allowed to change someone's name? <laughs> You're not really a human, you're kind of just like property, so yes. Congratulations everyone, ice cream and burgers is now free. <laughs> there goes the hell. What else can I use here to feed the children garbage? Ah, a nice snack machine. How about this? This one you only have to get to the secondary innard. Salad. Off. I feel like someone is watching me. <laughs> You would be right, STFU. Everybody is happy with our school. Time to go home. Oh wait, you're never gonna get home. 
Oh my god, look at the student's health. Bang! I'm straight to the ground to zero. Now, we do need toilets in this school, but in order to use them, you have to make it to class, which you'll probably never do. He never, he never even made it out. It's totally possible that I'll be able to get him, or well, really all the students, so that they're in school 24 hours a day and they never even get to leave the internal grounds. Who the hell are you? How did you even get here? What sort of majory did this woman use to get to the class? Also, she's not even in front of the easel. Like, I don't have a problem with them not even giving them like a paintbrush or anything, but she's not even remotely close. <laughs> Why is she still painting a picture at one o'clock in the morning? Wait a second. We got a melody over here. We got a melody over here. What the hell happened here? Did this girl divide like cells? We've got two new potential teachers. June, who's a bit boring, and Jasper, who loses his temper quickly. That's right, juveniles. Start working in the gardens. This is all of the interaction with one another that you're gonna get. Okay, we've got the school down to a 4.6. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I don't think I can fail any harder. <laughs> I keep thinking about STFU, I cannot study at all. Who are you? Bridget, you just got to school. You're not even a normal member yet. I like how she's like, I can't stop thinking about STFU, but her personal opinion of the guy is he's not that bad. School's at a 2.5. Mother of God. I don't think I will get a job. You already have a job. It's working in the field. There's not much difference between the children in our class. Everybody is unintelligent. I just noticed how succulent and realistic all of the JPEG images for the food is. I think I'm just plain stupid. That comment is somewhat painful to listen to. <laughs> All the other comments have a certain lightheartedness to them, but STFU kind of seems like he's starting to fall off a cliff over here. Although when he sits, it also looks like he's impaled by the stake. Are you going to organize a prom? Sure. It's gonna be in this classroom if anyone can actually make it here. We're at a 1.6. <laughs> I love all the attention I get. What attention? All you do all day is walk through the halls. Oh, Jesus. How have you managed to get into the middle? Oh, I've got a little opening over here. Well, that's a problem. Not that it matters. Half of the student body still never makes it to their classroom anyway. I... I don't know what the hell this is. It's a giant tongue. It's gonna be staring at the children while they learn. Oh, what am I saying? The kids are never gonna get to class anyway. The students 100% need to drink alcohol at prom. The fact I know I'm stupid, it makes me pretty smart, right? Who are you? You just said something very profound, Carlota. The fact that you understand your own failure means that your new name is Citizen Kane. Horrible name. <laughs> Have fun painting for the rest of your life. Look, everyone, it's prom. Yeah, what's wrong? You you guys don't want to go to prom? All you have to do is walk about two miles to get there. STFU is enjoying prom all by himself. Oh, those dance moves. It's like watching the cast from Friends dance. It's like all early 2000 dances. I practiced very long on this move. <laughs> the twerk! I didn't know there's twerking in the game. <laughs> oh no, they're all doing it together. I hope the night never ends. Please tell me that we're going to get simultaneous twerking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh they're all leaving drunk because there's alcohol at the front. <laughs> now get the hell back to school. That night of drunken debauchery and unprotected sex has brought us to a 1.5. The only class anyone goes to is this art class. It, it actually reminds me a lot of my senior year. Also, who the hell's writing graffiti on my goddamn bathroom? Oh, one of the school slave laborers has unlocked a new painting. Does Taylor already know we are going to marry? What? When did this love triangle take place? Who the hell's Taylor? What, what is this? What is happening over here? These are two of my teachers. Why are they locked in an internal staring contest? In their new study, Candy Factory Candy for All has shown groceries make you dumber. No explanation was given. What? 
How the hell are people's grades going up? No, like half of the students don't get to learn anything. The ones that actually come to school either are working in the fields or are painting pictures. All right, the children are starting to become way too smart. Clearly, I have to get rid of all these friggin' classrooms. The government heard from various people that you're not a good headmaster. They're going to inspect your, st your school soon because the only place anyone can do anything now is in the art room or in the fields. What the hell? What is, what is this? What is happening? Why is everyone praying? Oh, <laughs> you can make them garden inside of the classroom? <laughs> what? It's like pulling double duty. See, they're they're learning art, but they're being forced to do the garden at the same time. So is this kitty doing it in the middle of the hallway? Yes, down to a 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> worry not, students. You won't have to worry about your grades because the only thing that you'll be doing is working in the garden. Now, everyone remember from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's pray at the wall time. That's right, everyone. Get down <laughs> on your knees and start praying. I don't know if we can get below a one, but we're damn well going to try. All right, it's time to get rid of the last classroom. The government checked your school and they were not happy. They fired you and shut the school down. Perhaps you should look for another job. <laughs> we got a point five. We managed to get it all the way down to point of <laughs> Knowing my luck, the government probably came in right as all the students were on their knees paying homage <laughs> to the gardens outside. Well, we did it. We finally got the government to shut our school down. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Rule Your School. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.